Makers, doers, how tours, welcome to Make Every Day number 38. I'm Pooch coming at you live from the Maker POV cam so you can see what I'm doing and I'll save you the pain of looking at my ugly mug today. Uh, this question came about on Twitter. Uh, it was originally a conversation between Sparky Face 5 and the Plastic Cowboy and Tinkers and a couple others, I believe. But the question came up, could a eraser be 3D printed? And I thought that was interesting. Uh, Cowboy tried his... TPE and TPU himself uh, said he didn't have much luck with that. Thought maybe PVA could work, but he didn't have any. I said, hey, I've got some. I'll give it a shot. So that's what we're doing today. So without further ado, we have Will It Rub, the Flex Off version one. I've got three semi-flexible to flexible materials on here, and we're going to see if they can indeed erase pencil lead or graphite. And to start off with, just to prove that this is all erasable pencil. I will use the standard rubber and show that yes, it does indeed erase uh, about as well as you can expect a pencil eraser to erase. So yes, pencil eraser, of course. Uh, next, we're gonna try Talman PCTPE. Now this stuff is actually not very flexible at all. It's actually pretty rigid because it's got polycarbonate mixed in with it. Uh, pretty cool material actually. Uh, if you're looking for some strength with maybe a little bit of give, you know, you can dent it with your thumbnail or whatnot, but let's see, will it erase anything? Mm. Uh, I'm going to say uh, that's a big no. It just seems to smear a bunch of pencil lead uh, everywhere, so we're going to say no on that. Um, okay, going, moving on. Generic TPU, you might know this as Ninja, Ninja Flex is... Is uh, TPU is a primary component of that, and of course they put their own secret sauce in there. But uh, this is just a generic TPU, and let's see, eh, and a smearing. Uh, well, well, wait a minute. Get a little Western with it, and okay, I'm gonna say maybe better than better than the PC TPE. Uh, well, you know what? That's interesting. Like, once it kind of gets... Yeah, you really got to push on this. And once it gets going, it's almost like once it starts to rub off, you know, portion of the... portion of the, the, the outer shell, like whatever, of the, the print, it actually does erase. Uh, hmm. That's interesting. Well, that's that's better than I would have expected. I'm gonna go with uh, sort sort of. Hmm. All right. Lastly, but not least, we've got our generic PVA, and this is uh, what you might use for like support material. Um, let's see if Cowboy's theory that it might work is correct. It's actually feels a little bit harder than it was when I first came off the printer. Obviously, when it was warm, I guess that. That gave it a little bit more flex. It does have some give. It does feel a little, you know, more rubbery than your standard stuff. But let's see, will it erase? Hmm. Yeah, I'm pushing pretty dang hard. But it is, <laughs> it is erasing. Well, no. Uh, now you can see I'm pushing so hard it's like moving the paper. I don't know if I'm just taking the top layer of paper off or if this is actually counts as an eraser. Um, that's a like a not really like maybe if I re I guess if I keep going after it it would yeah okay it does it does work but then it you know it begs the question that you know if you rub pencil with anything long enough would it erase it I you know I don't know. I guess that'll have to be for another time. We're going to go with uh, maybe another sort of, but I would say sort of, but not as good, um, but not as good as the uh, TPU. So if I had to pick something to 3D print uh, to use as an eraser, I would give it to the TPU in this case, maybe with PVA being a second place. Uh, but I don't know why you would do that when you could just grab a cheap uh, eraser uh, just about anywhere. So that's it for today's Make Every Day 38. Uh, if you enjoyed it, give me a like, subscribe. Uh, I hope that this is helpful and uh, have a great one. Make on.